What is wrong with you? What is wrong with your boy Dwight Howard? What, what, what's wrong with him? Why is a video I did back in 2015 getting thousands of views every hour? I thought I was done with Dwight Howard. So we never had to have this conversation again about Dwight Howard. And now we're talking about Dwight Howard. Because I got people on Tim Black. You got to update the video about Dwight Howard. Because some news broke about Dwight Howard, Tim Black. You got to talk about it. You was talking before. We'll talk now. I said, well, I'm talking about Trump. And I'm talking about the Democratic Party. And I'm talking about clean water. And I'm talking about men and women being shot by police. And I'm talking about all these things. They're like, well, Tim Black, you got to talk about Dwight Howard. Then I look and saw that I got 30,000 views in two days. I said, you know what? I do got to talk about Dwight Howard. What is wrong with your boy Dwight Howard? i tell you what's wrong with him. He is associated with the wrong individual. Yeah, he is associated with the wrong individual. See, Dwight Howard, he slipped up. He slipped up and got involved with someone who's out there looking for fame. Someone who got a book to sell and is looking for fame. That's what happened to Dwight Howard. A person by the name of Mason LG. A man, a gay man, who put out a series of tweets over the weekend saying that Dwight Howard used to be his bae. He said he met Dwight Howard on the set of Wildin' Out the day eyes met across the room or something. And they was like, yeah. And then before he knew it, that Dwight Howard was pursuing him in his direct messages on Twitter or Instagram or something. Then Mason LG says that Dwight Howard, him and Dwight were boyfriend, girlfriend, or boyfriend, boyfriend. And that Dwight Howard cheated on him. And then that Dwight Howard... When they broke up, Dwight Howard tried to get him to sign an NDAA, non-disclosure agreement, and that his preacher and his entourage and someone got involved from Dwight Howard's camp, and then they, they, they threatened Mason Elijah if he didn't sign a non-disclosure agreement. And Mason decided, well, I'm not going to sign a non-disclosure agreement because I'm going to disclose that we had a relationship, and for what reason? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out why this became public. See, a lot of people, they're sitting there going, Tim Black, Dwight Howard was gay. I'm like, well, yeah, he, he, he could be gay. I mean, he grabbed the guy's crotch like he, like he was gay. I said it, it seemed like he was gay, but I don't know if he's gay. Only a couple people would know he's gay. That's people he slept with in himself. Like, no one's going to know if he's gay or not. No one's going to know if this story is true or not, except for two people in the story, Mason Elijah and Dwight Howard. And I waited as long as I could, but Dwight Howard was not talking. But here's the deal, guys, and this is something I'm trying to figure out, man. You do realize that there are a lot of gay men in America, right? I mean, if Dwight Howard was dealing with this man, Mason Elgin, that wouldn't be, like, totally crazy because there are a lot of gay dudes in America. I mean, somewhere between 5 and 8% of American men are gay. And those are just the ones that will admit it. There's a lot of gay men in America, so if you are like totally thrown and your head about to explode because somebody may be gay, I mean, I mean, I could, I could see you being a little surprised, but don't act like you just discovered Bigfoot. Don't act like you just discovered what happened to Rick Grimes and The Walking Dead. Don't act like you just discovered where they buried Jimmy Hoffa. Don't act like you just discovered Slender Man is real. Come on, man. Come on, keep up. Come on, you gonna have to. You got to live in the year two thousand with me, yo. I got a problem with Mason LG exposing this because I don't think he's doing it for the reasons he says he's doing. He said he's doing it because Dwight Howard's people threatened him. Where's the evidence of the threat? Where is the evidence that you were threatened? Why haven't you called the police about your physical threat? Why haven't you filed a police report about being threatened? Your life has been threatened by someone who makes a lot of money. Do you realize how rich Dwight Howard is? 
We're talking about a man who's worth over $70 million who just signed a two-year, $11 million deal with the Washington Wizards. And you mean to tell me he, he's threatening your life to kill you? And your, your immediate action from that is to go on Twitter and talk about it? <laughs> your immediate action is to, oh, I'm going to post a thread on Instagram. I'm going to put out an a Instagram video. <laughs> I'm going to go viral. <laughs> See, this sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. It's sad that you live in a country where people can't be themselves, that they got to lie. Famous people have to lie to you about who they are, who they love, or what they do because you'll judge the hell out of them and ruin their lives. That's horrible. That's not good. I don't... I don't know if Mason Elgin is telling the truth or if he's lying. But I know if you write a book called Industry Ho, kind of makes you look a little suspect. And if you, what I'm hearing is that Mason Elgin made an allegation about somebody back in 2017 called Carty Playboy or something. And it wasn't true or something like that. But then I'm hearing that Dwight Howard's wife made some statements about him. And look, look, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea who's telling the truth, who's not telling the truth. One thing, I can say this, though, right? If if uh, if Dwight Howard is threatening someone because he don't want his dirt to come out, that's lame. What you do in the dark will come to light, or it could come to light. And if, and if Dwight Howard is threatening your life, Mason Elgie, Elgin or however you pronounce it, you don't need to be pressing send on your damn smartphone to upload the video. You need to be pressing charges. But I would hope that we can focus on things that really matter and not be worried about who Dwight Howard was dating. We could be more worried about, I don't know, your kids, your kids getting a better education or if the water is, is toxic or if uh, if cops are being prosecuted for killing us unarmed, or if or if our politicians are working for us or working for corporations, or if we gonna get a decent pay right for our work, or if or if healthcare can be covered for us, our children, our grandparents, and our neighbors, like hope we can like focus on these important issues. Because at the end of the day, whether the White Howard is gay or straight, doesn't change our lives. Not one bit. Subscribe to this channel. All right, guys. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this content, don't forget subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Real Tim Black. Facebook is Real Tim Black, and Instagram is Tim Black at Night.